Does it seem like the more that you affirm, visualize, do inner work, the more that your 3D appears to be unideal for you? Does it seem like you have more tragedies happen outside of you than you did before you even started this inner journey? If so, this is ideal, and in this video, I am gonna share why. I'm gonna share why you're on the correct path and why this is absolutely incredible for you and to keep going forward. Let's start first with why this is happening for you. Now, if you've done the seven day mental diet that I've suggested, or you've been affirming and doing these different things, what you will end up finding is as you shift, as you move internally, your outside will move also. And in the seven day mental diet, Emmett Fox talks about how the fact that as you shift internally, all your doubts, all your old programming, all this stuff will start popping out outside of you. This is how you know that you are doing the diet correctly. If you are moving internally, your external will move. Now, one can identify as though everything is moving unideally, but remember, life is dead. It has no meaning except for what you give it. We do not see life as it is. We see life as we are. It is seen through filters, through beliefs, trauma, past experiences. That is how we see life. So there is never an issue with life. The issue is always within. It is always my thoughts and my feelings about what I'm experiencing. It is never the experience. This is a very, very key thing to understand. The battle is never with the 3D. The battle is always within. Every single time the battle is won within, the battle is fought within, the battle is, is lost within. So if you're seeing outside things change on ideally, this is an amazing thing. You are changing your inner world and as a result, your outer world is now transforming. Now, a lot of the times what will end up happening is a lot of the things that stops you before, a lot of the things that stops you from continuing or that you feared happening will present themselves. This is where it matters. This is where I must stay persistent. I must continue. I must persevere. I must push through this. Leave the 3D as it is and go internal. It is a beautiful journey. We learned through years and years of programming from when we were young. We were taught there's some outside God. Work for outside things. Do what everybody else is doing. Follow the crowd. This is the information that was given to you that was impressed continuously. This was a state that was occupied. Now we are doing the complete and utter opposite. We are unwinding years of belief. We are unwinding lots of states that we kept alive through our attention of it. So we are shifting. Now you may start feeling a whole bunch of emotions. You may start feeling a whole bunch of old stuff coming up. This is wonderful. Think of when somebody passed. Have you had a, a dog that passed? Or a person that you love that passed? What happened as they passed? You felt a part of you died. You felt sad. You felt hurt. You felt anger. You felt disbelief. You felt denial. And then what was the final stage? Acceptance. When you were shifting, the old part of you is dying and it is fighting to stay alive. It requires you to keep identifying with it. It requires you to keep fighting it or to keep giving it meaning in order for it to survive. It's like anything that's alive. It wants to survive. So as you're shifting, you're going to feel as though a part of you is dying. You're going to feel uncomfortable. There's going to be some uncertainty. You haven't ever been here before, and that is a good thing. If you've been here before, then you are going to experience and feel and think the same way that you always have. Now remember, it is never about receiving some outside thing. What it's always about is becoming the person that has the outside thing. And as a result, the outside thing then flows to us. So we become somebody completely and utterly different through our affirmations, through our persistence, from the way that we view ourselves, from the way that we view the world. We change and as a result, the outside world changes. This is why Neville says, leave the outside world alone. It is simply a mirror. So we must persist. We must continue to go in our inner world, regardless of what we see, whatever chaos is happening, whatever unideal things that we think that we're seeing, we must leave this alone, go back to our inner world, go back to our power, go back to our affirmations, go back to visualizing. Stay grounded in this. Persevere. Continue going. And what you will find happens is you keep shifting more and more and more. You start becoming more ideal. Where you'd react or think in a certain way or feel in a certain way, all of a sudden you start thinking ideal, you react ideal, 
You feel how you want to feel. You think how you want to think. This is how change happens for everybody. Change is always a challenging thing, hence why most people never do it. It is something that takes perseverance, a burning desire, persistence, and a goal, a vision. An unshakable, I am this, no matter what. This is what it requires. So stay persistent. Know that on this path, there will be ups and downs. There will be emotional turmoil. You will be battling with yourself. Think back to, to prove that the outside never matters. Think when you had a happy relationship or you were financially abundant or whatever it was. And yet internally, you still felt bankrupt. You felt like things were wrong. You felt like things weren't ideal for you. So the key has always been is that your inside world is what matters. That's where the fight is. That's where we need to go. That's where everything is created. And that's where we feel the best. I've had times where I was completely broke and I felt like a Ferrari. And then I ended up manifesting large sums of money or a happy career, whatever it was. And it didn't add anything on to my state. It just made sense based upon my identity. Same thing with when I was in a relationship. I was in a happy relationship and I would feel unhappy and then the unhappiness would end up happening. Vice versa, I have not been in a relationship or manifesting a person back and felt as though I had the most amazing relationship and then the relationship ended up flowing into my life. It was just icing on the cake, but it was not the cake. My inner world was the cake. The beautiful thing about manifesting a specific person or whatever it is you're manifesting is you get trial and error. You get to experience being this person and changing this person. You get experience shifting states. You get experience knowing that you are the cause. You get experience overcoming and persisting. And as you continue to do this stuff, you get better and better and better at being more ideal more often. And then you experience as a byproduct more ideal things more often. And the last thing that this does for us is that it stops us from looking for outside proof and validation. This takes time. Again, we were conditioned since we were young to look for outside proof and validation. Look for a God outside of us. Look for somebody's approval and validation outside of us to tell us we were doing great instead of the cause being within. Manifesting these things, SP, money, whatever it is, will show you that wealth is generated from within you that an SP relationship is generated within you, that everything you ever wanted was generated within you. You never needed outside proof or validation. And then once you succeed in becoming that person, then those things flow as a byproduct, but you no longer need them. It just feels natural based upon who you now are. This is key. So we must persist. If things are going unideal for you, congratulations. You are doing everything right. Continue going on your internal journey, continue affirming, continue visualizing, continue your work. You were doing everything correctly. Because before, when you were in an unideal state, there was really no fight of this new person that you wanted to be or this new goal that you wanted to be. It was just you were stuck there. So the fact that you were having a battle means that you are shifting internally, which is incredible because your external is then going to match your shift internally. Thank you so much guys for watching. If this video added any value to you, please do subscribe, comment, share, like. I hope you guys have a good rest of your morning. Take care.